This is a very uh, populated part of downtown San Jose. Len, from Chopper 5, we're seeing a uh, garbage can that's on fire right now. Are you in that particular location or are you smelling smoke? No, no. Uh, Third I'm in not Santa smelling Clara. Smoke and that could be. See, yeah, see, what they have done is they had, they had the big crowd in front of City Hall on Santa Clara Street, but different fingers of uh, crowds were moved down various streets. So we're on one finger right now, so we're kind of boxed in. We can't see what's happening on the other fingers. Uh, but the same thing that you see here is happening on all the other streets. And this is what will continue to be the police tactic as they try and clear the streets here in downtown San Jose. Yeah, People are just walking back. There's really not much protesting going on anymore because uh, the police have uh, made it clear that they are going to use uh, pretty forceful tactics to get the uh, crowd to move out of the way. And that's what they're doing. Well, Len, you and photographer Vince Garrido have certainly given us a firsthand look at what's going on on the streets from all perspectives and obviously the chaos that's happening there. We're learning that uh, this particular uh, smashed up vehicle and dumpster fire was on 3rd in Santa Clara. So, as you were saying, in different areas are having different uh, situations right. happening. But uh, from aerial pictures, Chopper 5 right now, uh, right. you can see the smashed up, well, actually, you can see the dumpster fire right now. And uh, we're told that that vehicle is smashed up as well. So that's on one particular street where we don't see any uh, protesters. Um, and in your area, you're still wa walking with those that have been there all afternoon. Right. Right. We continue to see, you know, we saw one big skirmish area, and that was in front of City Hall. But now we're seeing several different skirmish areas uh, throughout the city as the police, you know, move people down. Uh, you know the different areas the different avenues of uh, downtown san jose so in a way this helps because it disperses the crowd some of the crowd went one way when the police came through another group of uh, people came this way with us and so you have this splitting of the protest crowd into smaller and smaller groups where the protesters may regroup if they want to regroup uh is another question uh, at some point you know, the police will, will have such a presence here in downtown San Jose that there will be virtually no place for people to go. You can hear the chanting uh, still going on. As the officers uh, on foot are backed up now by motorcycles, motorcycle units from the uh, PD are uh, backing up the uh, officers on foot. So this will continue to happen throughout the evening. Uh, seen this happen uh, several times during uh, the course of my career in Donald Trump uh, protest in 2016. Uh, they did this tactic. They did it several times, you know, during Mardi Gras when uh, a riot started. Uh, after that uh, big uh, festival, as well as Cinco de Mayo, so the police department has had this type of tactic for a while, and it does seem to work, and it has quieted the crown quite a bit. So there's somebody on a bike that apparently is not moving fast enough, uh, and he's getting uh, poked and prodded uh, by the billy clubs. And at some point, he's going to start pedaling away. Yeah, you can see the uh, pro. Oh. All right, so people are starting to throw things again at the police, so I wouldn't be surprised. Some of the crowd is throwing things in this direction. Just water bottles at this point. Traffic is still uh, trying to get through in various parts of uh, the downtown. We're right near San Jose State University. And uh, it's obviously been closed because of the uh, COVID-19 crisis. So there's not as many students here uh, to, to get involved in this. We can look down San Fernando Street to our left. There's uh, quite a crowd down there as well. People pretty much just standing around. A few people throwing things still, but pretty much. Now, now uh, somebody's damaging uh, some of the newspaper racks across the street. That's what we hear. So 
right now it uh, looks like a standoff between the, uh, the officers and the protesters. There's only a, a very few protesters in the direct uh, line of sight of the officers right now. Uh, most people have pulled back and are just kind of holding up their signs and waiting to see what happens next. Uh, but it's kind of moved beyond that into, you know, a little bit of a, a situation where people are maybe taking advantage of this and, and you know, trying to uh, antagonize the police department here in San Jose. Uh, you know, the San Jose uh, Police Chief and the uh, Police Officers Association, you know, released a statement today, uh, probably the strongest, you know, condemnation of a, a police uh, death in custody. Uh, that we've heard and, and seen in recent times. Um, I think that was an effort to, you know, tell the uh, public that uh, what the officers saw, you know, they didn't agree with, uh, just like the protesters. Um, but those types of statements have not been enough to, uh, to, to... Now, here we have somebody. Vince, if you pan to the right, uh, we're going to show something going on here that is a uh, kind of a demonstration of what we uh, know happened. To George uh, Floyd, uh, there's a man posing for a picture. Vince, if you pan over to the right, you can see that this is probably done for a social media type uh, posting right in front of the police department. So we're seeing that live play out. But to answer your question, Ken, I think uh, there are a lot of you know hardcore protesters, and and there's people that are bystanders as well, but the bystanders have been uh, taking a back seat, especially since, you know, the projectiles were being fired and things like that were happening. It got quite dangerous. Now there goes another flashbang down the block. So just a uh, chaotic situation continuing here in San Jose. Now it looks like there might be more of a situation over towards third street so maybe we can uh give you a look at what's going on down there as uh 